Hi guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. What we want to uh, touch on right now is patterns and how you save them and you know break them apart if it's available. Sometimes if you save it the wrong way um, onto your USB stick, you cannot break it apart no matter what you do. Um, so therefore, you can't flip certain words. If they're all in a group, you can't um, pull them apart and put them in the six by sixes like if you do vinyl. Um, and you break your mat into six by sixes like I did with the backhoe yesterday. Um, you can't do that if you save it the wrong way. So we're going to go through here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's one I made up that says friends. Okay, and then this little box up here, we'll click that. Alright, so these three are actually highlighted. So we can go in and we can select them all. And we can also select them and move them. So here is the four six by six pieces that I talked about. And that's what I do when I go to cut vinyl if I have different colors. I think ahead when I'm in the computer program and I'm designing it out, I know that <clears throat> what I make up has to fit in a six by six section if I'm going to do it that way. If not, if I wanted into you know cut a full sheet out of it I know that in that file I can only have the one thing that's going to be in that piece of vinyl so with this you kind of have to think ahead okay so let's click OK and of course you know you can go in and resize the letters and do all of that but this is the main thing I wanted to say is if you have the different colors of vinyl you can put it like this so you can leave the F and R let's say this will be yellow pink blue and green so these letters will be cut out of the corresponding colors of vinyl so make sure that it's well within that six by six and then when you put your vinyl on the mat go by those grid marks because that is right on um, you, you can't make any errors that way okay now I'm gonna go grab another file Okay, now I'll show you about uh, a file. Let's say you're um, doing again, if you're doing vinyl and you want to break it apart. Um, here's one I made um, for my mom. Don't laugh. <laughs> but you come, come up here and you click on it. And look, there is no box. So I can't break this apart. I, you know, can't individually select letters that there's no option. Um, so what you want to do is when you save it, um, you want to go in and group each individual word or don't hit the union button. Uh, that is very important because a lot of people will go in and union their word, you know, to make it all um, kind of stick together. Especially like the curvy words or the, the ones with the swirls on them. Um, when you do that, this is what happens. So you don't want to use the union okay if you want to union your words union them separately so let's say you're using the Samantha font and you want those uh, letters to be really pretty and all together then union the word and not the whole group of words all right okay and then this is along the same lines um, these two files are the exact same but this one I save differently than this one okay see it will not let me cut this so I need to go in and I need to oh shoot I need to go in and resize them okay so let's click on this one. Oh, this is pretty easy you can go up and resize this one to bring it all on your mat so that it will cut okay so there we go but this one uh oh I can't do that so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go in and delete all of these so that I can actually cut okay so that's how um, you handle these things let's come up here Oops, my phone's going off. And see, so you have to get rid of all of those um, letters that are here because it won't allow you to resize this. You cannot pull 
this word up. So when you save it, and even when I was in the program, I had it all on the mat. It wasn't extended past the mat. So when I brought it on to the scan and cut, that's when it decided to act up. So if that ever happens to you, now you know how to, let me click off that one. Now you know how to go in and fix it. Okay, so always, 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 when you're saving any words or anything like that to bring over to the scan and cut, try to save them uh, or, or um, like union them, put them together individually, individual words. That will help you tremendously. All right, thanks a lot, guys.